Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ray Nod, and this is my beautiful wife. Tracy Sands. Did I say that right this time, baby love? What's that? Which part? Hello. Oh, good. That's hello. Ooh, yeah. I got Not it. Not hello. Hello. Not you hello. Get... Hello. Hello. Glory. Come on, up top. That's what good I'm time. talking about. Okay. Let the will of the Lord be done. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Or well, good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you want to watch us. Hey, uh, <laughs> our scripture today is in John chapter 15, and we're going to read verse 16. Now, today I'm going to do it out of the uh, the New Mm -hmm. King James, and Baby Love is going to do it out of the Amplified Classic. Okay, John 15, 16 in the New King James, it says this, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. John 15, 16, Amplified Classic. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and mm-hmm. I have appointed you. I have planted you that you might go and bear fruit and keep on bearing, and that your fruit may be lasting, that it may remain, abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, as presenting all that I am, he may give it to you. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Go ahead. Uh, no, I let you go on that one. That one's remember, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Well, that's that's the main part I like. I, mm-hmm. The emphasis I like on this is that it is such a blessing mm-hmm. and a honor that God says, You didn't choose me. Mm-hmm. I chose you. I re- I can remember the day when the Lord first called me to uh preach the gospel. Mm-hmm. It wasn't definitely me going to choose him. Mm-mm. He chose me. Mm-hmm. And when I when I think about that, meditate on that, what an honor. Mm-hmm. When he'll get you right where you are. Get, yep, get you right where you are. Right. But I, I always think about like sports because I, 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 mm, I know. I, I know. I grew You're up either in sports. military or sports. Well, that's, yep. that's what I know. Yep. I know. And, and growing up in sports, they have draft picks. Okay. Like every year, the mm-hmm. different sports. I, I think all the sports do, but I know mm-hmm. the NFL, NFL basketball, baseball. Before. Yeah, I think even hockey. I used to watch it. So oh, boy. Got to watch something. Bowling. I watched I something. Know. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I don't you know about driving and bowling. Oh, anything <laughs> sports, I was going to watch. Mm. But uh, but they have the draft pick. And every team, now they have teams, they try to get that number one pick. Right. They want to get yeah, that number right, one right, pick. Right, right. I relate to that like that's how God did us. Mm. If you're watching this, remember, God chose you. He picked you. So sometimes we got to remember that. That's right. We were chosen. He said, you didn't choose me. I chose you. When I like even, so the different scripture is when he said, I knew you in the womb or before you were in the womb. Before you was even formed in the womb. So all this time, God, his his desire is you. I Mm. want you. Mm. And even mm-hmm. sometimes we don't feel like we capable of doing what he called us oh. to do. Mm-hmm. And that's and we why don't we find, don't feel like we're worthy either. Well, that, right. Yeah. That's more of what it is. Yes. But, mm-hmm. but when we recognize the father said, you are the one mm-hmm. and he wants to bring us in his train in his boot camp, I, right? call, I yeah. guess mm-hmm. his boot camp to train us for mm-hmm. his glory Amen. to be used for him. And that's, that's the thing I love the most. I did not want to preach. Oh, my mm. God. And, uh, I mean, even the way I sound, I mean, the devil tried to use all kinds of things. People can't understand you, whatever. But God said, no, you the one. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. you the one. And and, I, I, and I, it's, a hum, it's a humility in that, mm-hmm. too. You know, there's a, a sense of uh, honor, but humility to say, wow, God chose me. Mm-hmm. And, and I just want to share that with people that are watching this. God chose you. Mm. No matter what you're going through, remember the Father chose you. He chose mm. you because he wants you to be his son or he wants you to be his daughter. And we have to remember that. He said, look, he says this, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of time we don't see the things we want because we try to do that which God ain't choose us to do. Mm. We got to find out, spend time with, Father, what is it that you chose me to do? Mm. What is it that you want me to do? Mm. Because the world wants to take us and do things with us for their good, but God wants to use us for his good. Right. And then he said, and whatever you ask the Father, he said, I chose you, <clears throat> okay? You did not choose me, but I chose you, appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatever you ask the Father in my name, 
he may give it you. Mm. So, man, that's that's a blessing. Well, and mine says, I have planted you that you might go and bear fruit and keep on bearing and that your fruit may be lasting, that it may remain, abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, my name as presenting all that I am and the am is in capital because um, he is the I am, he may give it to you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Presenting all that he is. Mm. And I think that's sometimes we got to remember the simplicity. He chose me to represent him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and that's the battle. Sometimes we have to remember um, he chose me for what for his good pleasure. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think too sometimes we can make it a little more difficult, like bear fruit, just a kind word or a smile or something like that. That is actually even bearing fruit. I know um, about a time, but I know today, like we were at the grocery store and there's somebody there that um, um, a worker that we've seen for years that we know and have built a relationship with and you know, just talking to her and, and you go out and you talk to everyone. You always make it a point to say hello to almost yeah. everybody in the store, well, really, it's just is what that, it feels like. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just that that little how, hello, how you doing today. Mm-hmm. It's just being kind. Mm-hmm, it's like, mm-hmm. what's wrong with being kind? Mm-hmm. And most right. people, they, they like it mm-hmm. because people like when you just nice to them. Mm-hmm. Well, acknowledge them. Acknowledge them. You have a kind mm-hmm. word to yep. say. yep. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. and, that, and that's what I do. I mean, I, I, we represent the kingdom. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not a fake. It's, it's what we do. Right. And, and right. when the joy of God is in you, mm. that's what, what else can you Come do on. except for Come be on. nice and loving to people? Hallelujah. So, well, praise the Lord. Just hopefully all of you remember that you were chosen by yes. God. I yes. don't care what's happening in your job mm-hmm. or anything else. You are chosen mm-hmm. by God. Hallelujah. Well, have a good day. Hopefully this was a blessing to you. And uh, God bless you. God bless you.